Let's take a look at ePRISM SSLVA. The diagram shows that ePRISM is running in single mode inline configuration with a URL filtering appliance connected to ePRISM through the mirror port. After logging in, we're taken to ePRISM SSLVA's dashboard showing logs and basic system information. Port information shows the original encrypted traffic is running through line one. The mirror ports are being used to transmit decrypted traffic to connected devices, while the FlowSync port is used to listen for RST packets from the connected device. Automatic certificate distribution. Users who haven't yet installed the certificate are automatically redirected to the download page when using a browser. Certificate installers are available for several operating systems, including Windows, Android, Mac, and iOS. Let's install the certificate. After installing it, Users can check whether it was properly installed by opening a browser, visiting an HTTPS site, and checking if the certificate was signed by ePRISM SSL. From the Certificate Management tab under the Decryption menu, you can check if the users who have been directed to the certificate download page installed the certificate or not. Checking decrypted traffic using Wireshark As shown earlier, the blue line indicates the original encrypted SSL traffic. The green and red lines show decrypted traffic flowing between ePRISM and the URL filtering device. On the URL filtering appliance, we can view the decrypted traffic using Wireshark. As shown here, a GET request over port 443 to an HTTPS website, which was originally encrypted, is visible in plain text. Connecting URL filtering appliances to ePRISM for complete traffic visibility. ePRISM is running in single mode connected to a URL filtering appliance. The URL filtering appliance is already configured to block access to specific HTTPS sites such as Bitcoin but unless the appliance is connected to ePRISM, users will still be able to access the specified HTTPS sites. After the URL filtering appliance has been connected to ePRISM, sites that have been configured in policies on the filtering appliance are blocked. This information can also be checked by searching ePRISM Web UI's log. DS indicates that traffic was decrypted. RST indicates that a RST or blocking packet from a connected device was received. Message pass through. When a URL filtering appliance is set to block Facebook but hasn't been connected to ePRISM, or when user access to Facebook is blocked by a URL filtering appliance connected to a basic decryption device, this error page is shown. In both cases, the filtering appliance isn't working as it should. After connecting ePRISM, but before any policies are set on the URL filtering appliance, Facebook is visible, signed with the ePRISM certificate. After policies have been set, Facebook is blocked and the error message from the URL filtering appliance is shown. As shown earlier, it's possible to check DS and RST information in the ePRISM web UI. QUIC control. ePRISM also supports QUIC protocol policies. QUIC policies can be set in the web UI before blocking QUIC via ePRISM, we can see that QUIC is being used to connect to Google in Chrome. Let's enable a policy to block the QUIC protocol 
via the ePRISM web UI. Checking the page again in Chrome, we can see that it's now using TLS 1.2 instead of QUIC. Checking the real-time log via ePRISM's web UI, we can also see that QUIC was blocked by the policy we set. That's all for our demo of Susan INT's ePRISM SSLVA.